Hello student, let's see the one remaining problem that I have given as assignment uh, related with our second unit and uh, which was related with our constant satisfaction problem and uh, related with that last kind of problem related with the constant satisfaction that we have discussed that is the script arithmetic problem. So today we are going to discuss uh, one more problem in case of the script arithmetic and how it can be get solved. So already in the previous lecture of uh, second unit, we have seen what do we mean by the script arithmetic problem. So it is kind of one kind of uh, what you can say the constant satisfaction problem and constant satisfaction problem or the approach in case of the artificial intelligence. It is nothing but the <clears throat> finding the solution to the certain problem and how how the solution can be found out so the solution can be possible only if certain rules or the constraints are get satisfied so in short the constant satisfaction uh, uh, problem is nothing more about the finding the solution to the some problem by satisfying its constraint or by satisfying its rules so we have up till now discussed various kind of constant satisfaction problem and different problem are having their different constraint by satisfying that constraint we can solve the different kind of problem like we have seen graph coloring problem we have seen the map coloring problem then uh, n twins problem we have uh, discussed and uh, okay and now today we are discussing about the one more that's a crypt arithmetic problem already we have discussed but we are discussing the another example related to the crypt arithmetic now i i have also written here the what do you mean by the crypt arithmetic problem in artificial intelligence it is nothing but the kind of encryption problem in which the written message in alphabetical form which is easily readable and understandable is converted into the numeric form which is neither easily readable nor easily understandable okay means here we are going to convert uh, it is an encryption problem in the sense we are going to decode the certain message into the uh, from one form into the another form so that uh, it can be read by only the some specific people only and generally this uh, uh, concept has been taken from the cryptography and in the cryptography is nothing but provided uh, utilized you know to provide the security while uh, message transfer is being done from the sender to the receiver and it is the message being uh, encrypted or the encoded in such a way that only the sender and receiver can understand what actually what actually that message is so that is nothing but the case that is the crypt arithmetic problem in case of the artificial intelligence also now how using the artificial intelligence uh, we can have the uh, uh, we can provide such kind of uh, uh, encoding or we can have such kind of encryption that today we are going to learn and this approach comes under the category of constraint satisfaction because in order to, in order to do the encryption uh, as a part of the crypt arithmetic problem we have certain rules and that rules must be satisfied to do the uh, encryption okay or, or to solve certain kind of uh, crypto arithmetic problem so first we see what exactly these uh, rules are so these are the following rules related to the crypto arithmetic problem if you want to encrypt if you want to encrypt certain uh, alphabetical form as a part of the crypto arithmetic problem then you have to follow these kind of rules okay so these are the rules first you can see there should be a unique digit to be replaced for the unique alphabet digit should be from 0 to 9 only you cannot use digit uh, apart from the 0 to 9 there should be a 
only one carry forward while performing the addition operation on problem i hope all of you know the carry like if i write this number it's a1 plus 88 eight, and you can see its addition will be uh 165 so this one is nothing but the carry generated so here there should be only one carry forward while performing the addition of operation the problem can be solved from the both the side as you can solve this problem or you can do the encryption from the left side as well as from the right side there must be a only one solution to this problem okay that we'll see number must not begin with the zero any number that you are trying to encrypt uh, that you are that you will get after encryption it should not start with the zero you can use the numerical base as a 10 to be considered if required and reject should satisfy the predefined arithmetic rules Pre uh, we know the predefined arithmetic rules are what like 2 plus 2 is a 4 so this kind of rules are there uh, which has to be followed which has this rule must be satisfied this constraint must be satisfied in order to do the uh, encryption as a part of the crypt arithmetic problem now let's see the example how we can how uh, we can uh, encrypt this particular message means what now here we are going to replace these alphabets by some numericals by some numbers okay let's see now we are given the example send plus more equal to money and now we have to perform the encryption of these alphabet by some numbers by following that constraint that we have given now as i said these alphabets then are replaced by numbers such that all the constraints are get satisfied so initially uh, initially suppose if you uh, put these uh, things in the form of some uh, boxes like this is the box for send okay and this is the box for more and this is your addition of this this is the box for money and you can see initially all the boxes are empty okay well, when you start encrypting all the boxes are empty okay so initially all the there are blank spaces so we start from the leftmost side we start from this side okay uh, in order to solve these and get the encrypted so we start from the leftmost side symbol that is the m okay now see you are adding the four letters plus four letters and you are getting the addition as a five letter means this is nothing but the carry generated here like whenever do the addition of this number like eight say one plus eight eight for example then you get the result as one six five and this is nothing but your carry so here same situation we are having in this case here we are adding these four letters with these four letters and you are getting the result as a five letters so this extra letter is calculated here as a carry and this is being this extra letter being referred as a carry that's why its value is considered as a one so here we can see m is the letter which is generated by carrying so carry generated can only be the one and so here we have the m equal to one here and so this uh, this particular uh, way of getting the m equal to one for this i have mentioned here the simple rule when we are adding the when we are doing the adding of addition of n letters means when we are adding these two plus two letters uh, sorry four plus four letters and result of adding up letter is n plus one 
means as you are here you are adding the four letters okay here you are adding the four letters we are getting the result as a five letters okay so when we are adding doing addition of n letters and result of adding this letters n plus one letter then resulted letter value is always so one and that is the reason here we have got the m equal to one okay so first we have got the value of m that is the one let's see next next we have the s plus m this part Okay, we have the s plus m equal to o. Now we know the m equal to one. Okay, so we get the equation from that s plus one equal to zero because m value is one. So, sorry, we have get the equation s plus one equal to o. As we know, we have the s plus m equal to o, and here we have the m value as a one. As we know, the carry generated, so that's why we have taken the value of m as a one. so when now as you can see here carry is getting generated here carry is getting generated so the value of this s and m must be such numbers which will generate the carry you are getting my point when carry can be generated here only when value of s and value of m is such numbers by adding these two numbers there must be carry get generated now if you consider s equal to 8 now carry cannot be generated because 8 plus 1 is 9 okay what we want this after adding these two numbers carry must be get generated so if you consider we we already know m is equal to 1 so if you add s equal to 8 to the 1 it is 9 so carry is not generated so this is not possible so if you consider s equal to 9 carry can be generated and that is the reason here we have got 9 plus 1 as a 10 so carry is getting generated and s value is 9 and if you add here 9 plus 1 9 plus 1 10 and that is the reason you are here you are getting the value of o as a 0 okay so here you have put the s equal to 9 and o equal to 0 so here we have got the value of here we have got the value of three letters okay then next let's see the next uh, part that we are having so next we have the e plus o equal to n this part e plus O equal to n. Now here we already know O value is equal to zero, and uh, so if we do the e plus zero equal to n, okay. If we add e plus zero equal to n. Now if you do this. every time if you add any number in the zero we are going to get the same number again for example if you consider e as a 5 and if you add the 5 plus 0 n is also going to be the 5 but we have seen in the rules no two alphabets can have the same value as i have written we can't have the e and n with the same value understood so according to the constant of crypt arithmetic there must be a carry generated here over the e only when the carry will get generated here then and then only we can have different value for e and the n otherwise we will have the same value of e and n so we have to we have we are sure here that carry must be generated over the e okay understood so when the carry can be generated over the e by adding these numbers by adding these numbers if its, its addition is more than if its addition is equal to 10 or more than 10 then only carry can generated over the e okay so here we have to just assume the carry will be generated over the e so 
as I mentioned, there must be a carry generated above the E, which will be get added at E. So here we assume the equation E plus E plus O plus one equal to N. That is nothing but now already we know the value of O is zero. So we got the equation here E plus one equal to N. So we are considering this as the expression one. What E plus one equal to N. Now how this one comes here because we are assume here over the E carry will be get generated. So that's why I have taken here E plus O plus one. That is the E plus zero plus one. That is the E plus one equal to N. We are assume here carry will be generated over the E. That's why I got this equation. Okay, this is our first equation. Okay. Let's see the next part. Now in the next part we have the N plus R equal to E. What? This part n plus r equal to e. Okay, now already we know the carry is being generated over the e. Okay, so when the carry can be generated over the e, only when addition of this n and r is equal to ten or more than ten. When carry can be generated over the e, only when addition of this n plus r is equal to ten or more than ten. So here I have mentioned. Now here addition of n and n and r must be generated carry as we have assumed carry is need to be generated above the e. Okay. So we can get here another relation as follow. Okay, and that relation is what n plus r equal to e plus ten. What n plus r equal to e plus ten. Now what is this ten is doing here? Now this ten is representing the carry. What addition of n and n and r must be equal to ten or greater than ten, then and then only carry can be generated above the e. So that's why here we have consider the carry has been generated at this point. Okay, and same thing we have written here n plus r plus ten. Here ten represent the carry. Okay, now as we have seen, the carry must be get generated. At this uh, above the e, and it can be generated only when we can have the e's value equal to ten or more than. Uh, when we when we can have the carry over the e, only when addition of this n and r is equal to ten or greater than ten. So here we have taken the relation as n plus r equal to e plus ten. Okay. Now, as we assume the carry is generated over the e also. Okay, now it it also possible, it also possible the carry might be get generated above the n also. Okay, this assumption we have to do here. Okay, carry might be get generated above the n also. Now, when the carry can be generated above the n, only when the addition of d and e equal to ten or more than ten. Understood? Then and then only carry can be generated above the n. So here just you have to assume. The carry will be get generated above the n. So here, from that, we get the relation n plus r plus one. This one indicate what carry is being get generated over the n. And n so equation will final equation will get n plus r plus one. This is the optional. Okay, we are assuming the carry will be get generated or might not get generated. That's why we put it in the bracket. So n plus r in bracket plus one equal to e plus ten. Why e plus ten? Because here we have assume here here we have assume the why do why ten we have taken here ten representing the carry here. Okay, that we are assuming here the carry we uh, the addition of this n n n n after doing the addition of this n n r the carry must get generated. And that's why we are assume here e plus ten, ten here representing the carry. Okay. Now so here we get the second equation n plus r in bracket plus one equal to e plus ten. Okay. Now let's see next. So here we have get the equation n plus uh, final equation as a equation expression second n plus r in bracket plus one equal to e plus ten. Now we have we had the first equation like this e plus one. E plus one equal to ten. This was our first expression. Okay. Now 
after substituting the sorry equation was e plus 1 equal to n okay so now we'll in this expression we'll substitute the value of this n okay now we'll substitute the expression 1 in the expression 2 and after this we'll get the expression like this e plus 1 plus r in bracket plus 1 equal to e plus 10 now here this e will get cancel with this e okay and what will remain this part only 1 plus r in bracket plus 1 equal to 10 now if you don't consider the carry over the n here if you don't consider the carry over the n here means this part if you don't consider we will getting the value of r as a 9 because this uh, uh, one will get shifted here 10 minus 1 9 if you don't consider the carry over the n if you don't consider the carry over this n then we no need there is no need to consider this plus 1 so r value become 9 but 9 already we have taken for the s so 9 is not possible for the r so that is the reason we will consider the carry here and if you consider the carry here we get the r equal to 10 because 1 plus r if you consider the carry over the n equal to that is 1 and here 10 so its result will be r equal to 8 understood and that is the reason here we have put the r value equal to 8 understood now here we have got the value of r we still we, we still don't have the value of n here okay so then we move forward okay we have got the r equal to 8 okay now we now to uh, let's see the what is remaining now here we have now remaining d plus c equal to y next we have the d plus c equal to y now as in the previous uh, step we have got the r equal to 8 by considering the carry here means what this d and e must generate the carry because we know the carry is generated above the n what the point as you are considering the carry is being generated here this d and e addition must be such that the carry should get generated understood now if you consider now here 10 cannot be the value y cannot be the 10 okay if you add these two numbers y should not be 10 because if the y is a 10 then carry will be generated as a 1 here above the n but y value cannot be 0 because zero already we have taken for the o means what you know to generate the carry above the n you know to generate the carry above n we must have the y greater than 11 because if you take the y as a if you see the y as a 11 also this one is a carry and this one is the value of y but y all the uh, one also we have taken for the m so addition of this d and e must be greater than 11 it should not be equal to 10 it should not be equal to 11 it must be greater than 11 now what are the possible situation possibilities are there what are the possibilities uh, using which we can get the value of this y greater than 11 so these are the two possibilities only because you have already utilized the 9 you already uh, you have already utilized the 8 so only two possibilities we can get the value greater than 11 that one is the 7 plus 6 and another is the 7 plus 5 okay now if you consider 7 plus 5 means if you consider d as a 7 and e as a 5 then we can get 7 plus 5 12 okay and here if you get the 7 plus 5 12 then we are getting the value of y as a 2 and one carry will be get generated here understood now if you might be thinking what if you take the 7 plus 6 now 
you you yourself try this by taking seven plus six, and then see what uh, what kind of situation you are getting if you choose the seven plus six. Okay, so here uh, best possibility is seven plus five. So if you take the seven plus five, you are getting the result twelve, and d is a seven, e is a five. So you have to put here e five, d as a seven. Okay, and if you have the d as a seven, e as a five. Okay, if you have the d as a seven, e as a five, and here we have that's why you are getting the y as a two also. Okay, and from that you have to get the value of n as a six. Now, how we'll get the value of n as a six? See, if you take uh, if you take here, uh, this is seven, this is five, and that's why twelve. And that's why value of value of y is two, and one carry is getting generated here. We already know the value of uh, r is eight. One carry is generated here. We already know value of e is a five. Mm, and when the five will get generated here? When will get the five generated here? So value of n must be such a value. If we add one into that value and eight into that value, we should get the result as a fifteen. Because only we get the result as a fifteen, then only we can have the value of e as a five. So, if we add six, if you take the value as a six of n, then one, then only we can get the result here as a fifteen. And that fifteen indicates. Five as a value of e, and one as a carry generated over the e, and so here we'll get the value of n as a six here. Okay, and in this way we'll get the value of all the alphabets, and finally we come to the this kind of uh, scenario. Like we'll just put the value of these alphabets together, and let's see we are getting the correct result. So that is nine five six seven plus one zero eight five, and its addition is this, and this is correct. And in this way, you have encrypted this message. You have encrypted this message with the help of these numerics. How you have done this? You have done this with the help of the by applying some constant satisfaction rules. Okay. So this is the solution. This question has been asked in the. competitive exam in the exams of the campus placement aptitude test number of times and in the theory exams also so i hope all of you got this point okay that's it from the today's lecture okay thank you all of you